Welcome all you plus two comedy modders back to the stream. Welcome to a game that we don't usually play here. Welcome to Use Your Words. Now, this is the original Use Your Words that was created by uh, my friend Brent Black, also known as Brental Floss. And uh, he currently just launched his Kickstarter for Use Your Words 2. So go to useyourwords2.com and you can support the Kickstarter and uh, get the sequel to this game. But we're going to play the original game here and now. So uh, you can go to useyourwords2.com when we're done playing. <laughs> and uh, of course, we get the room code on stream over that way. So if you want to jump in, feel free to jump in. You can play on your phone. You can play on your desktop. Uh, and uh, let's let's have some giggles, shall we? We'll get started. We'll start with a four-player game here. And now it's time to use your words. The glory of the silver screen in the dumper. Throw it in the garbage. It's sub the title. You are about to see a subtitled film clip that's. Missing a subtitle, and the subtitle will be filled in by you. Get ready. The clip will play twice. Now, for our feature presentation. Danny Shopkin, Googly Gun. Danny Shopkin, Googly Gun. Ooh, that's a tough one. That's a tough one. You can use a house decoy if you can't think of anything. Uh... So... Before I hit enter, just so you know, all of our answers are going to be shown plus the house answer, which is the game's answer. If you put in the game's answer, uh, you lose points if you get if you vote for that. So watch out for that sneaky Brental Floss answer. Get ready. Here's what you came up with. Johnny Shopkin, <laughs> That sounds like that fits the tune. Johnny Shopkin, Googly Gun. <laughs> Johnny Shopkin, Googly Gun. <laughs> Johnny Shopkin, Googly Gun. <laughs> you, you just write what was said? Johnny Shopkin, Googly Gun. Hmm. I like a few of those. Oh, there's more. Johnny Shopkin, Googly Gun. <laughs> you may have noticed an extra answer in there. We mm. always throw in one of our own house answers. Right. When you press the house decoy button, you get to use one of the house answers for yourself. But watch out. Voting for any house answer will deduct points from your score. Right. So pick your favorite answer, but watch out for house answers. I'm, I'm torn between two, but I'm going to go with what made me giggle the most. Let's see how you voted. Classic. Oh dear, that was a house answer. Oh no! That was my favorite! Oh. Dateline, right here and right now. It's extra, extra. Read all about it. We're the headline for this photo. All right. Spelling. Yep. 
this is typical me sitting here with a negative score. Also, hi, Alex. I didn't say hello to Alex. I thought the gobbledygook one was clearly Kermit's answer in the previous round. Music real jazzy. You've only got 30 seconds left, so wrap it up. I mean, my buddy Brent, he's quite the composer, so I'm not surprised that the music in this game is on point. He should add lyrics to this. Why hasn't he done that? I should mess I'm gonna message him right now. Five seconds. Use a house decoy if you have to. Here's what you wrote. Local man dies from blood loss to brain. Hello! <laughs> Pinch for good luck. Six women unable to free friend from old man mask. Santa's oldest elves visit the bunny ranch. Faramore and Cologne works too well. Man dead at 75. Now, vote for your favorite answer. But watch out for house answers. Oh, disconnected? Uh, if you refresh, you might be able to come back in. Um... Uh, I really liked hello, uh, but I'm going to go with this one. I feel like it's a house answer, but. Okay, it looks like you're back. Jason thinking long and hard. Here's how you voted. I like that one. Yeah, points. House answer. I knew it. I knew it was a house answer. I knew it. Hey, it's Lara's head in a cookie. Thank you so much. And now, the machine that lets you Bye, everybody. You are no, here. It's blank o -matic. She brought me a cookie. Uh, I'm going to enjoy it. Uh, I wish real life were more like a video game, because then... tell you a story about my answer when it's done. But I'm also going to eat this delicious snickerdoodle I was just received. Uh -huh. If you're spectating, we'll do another round in a moment. really good cookie I got. You got a great cookie. Mmm. Mmm. I love how the game changes every time. I think it's You've really neat. You've only got 30 seconds left, so wrap it up. What does this say back here? Oh, like too much time. Here are your answers. Wish life was more like a real life video game because then fighting bosses would be seen as heroic. Be 
because then I could restart if I did not like where it was going. Because then I could kill my kids and they just respawn. Dark. Dark. I could use detective mode to see if a college degree is a key item or not. I could have been tried after robbing a local bank in Aurora, Illinois and spent 7 to 12 years in jail. When I got hurt, I get delicious strawberry jam. Vote for your favorite answer now. Hmm. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with the one that made me giggle. That one made me giggle. Also, did you notice the pinholes are like a dinosaur? <laughs> Finish my cookie. Let's see how you voted. Sorry, house answer. House answer. <laughs> Caught Alex. Oh, big points. That's right. I wrote that joke today for a stand-up show. <laughs> Yes! I, I win them. Oh. oh, there's more. I thought I won on my own stream. I never win. Let's sub this title, baby. Let's sub it up. Not proud of it. Not proud of it, but it's going in. But yeah, that detective mode joke was something I was working on for a stand-up set. So I was like, perfect! A test, a test audience for it. Come see me at the Too Many Games Expo. I'll be doing that joke. And more! Give me more video game prompts so I can write a new set, please. But yeah, I'll be at the Too Many Games Expo in Oaks, PA. Buy brand new and used video games at discount prices and see me do stand up and wrestle. You've got 30 seconds left. Wrap it up for crying out loud. For crying out loud. Yeah, there's little Easter eggs in this game. Apparently, like, every scene has a skull in it, so you can kind of play search for the skull while you're filling yeah, in buddy. answers. Here's what you came up with. Mm. <laughs> I don't care whatsoever. <laughs> Let's me do some voice acting, which I <laughs> That's a bit forward. I should buy your grandmother dinner first. <laughs> Perfect joke. Grandma told me to invite you all. <laughs> My grandma told me to always come when a woman asks. <laughs> How funny. My grandpa always <laughs> said I'd make you with a Chung Lee cosplayer. It got me. Got me. Oh, let me remind you to get high fives from my fellow douchebags. <laughs> <laughs> that one threw me off so I didn't read it but it was good uh, this is a good round um, I'm torn between two I, I got it I'll do this one Let's see how you voted, shall see we? See we did. 
Dr. Push for not caring. Yes, come jokes. Nice, nice with the tongue leg. It's a, it's a perfect joke. It is a perfectly constructed joke. I, I just, nothing but applause from me. From around the world and right through your window pane. I wish they told you the house answer. That's the only extra, thing. extra. Anybody got a broom? <laughs> Write a headline for this. Um. Ah, uh, man, there's no timer and I don't know what to do. Um... I'm sure this is a hilarious bit over here. <laughs> it's a nice pen. That's for, that's for dang sure. What time are we living in in this game? Because we were at, we were at a drive-in and now we have a rotary phone. This game's old timey. Left. Here's right, here we go. Know. Extra, extra, read all about it. Man has ideas appear in the wrong place. Local weirdo has too many hand-related bright ideas. <laughs> Prosthetic limbs for your steampunk friends. <laughs> uh, when they lumoil your hands after long private sessions. Private sessions. How do I rub one out now? <laughs> Man dies! <laughs> Time to I like a simple one. Video. I really do. Man dies is great. Um, hmm. Those are similar. With this one. At least it's right on my heels. Here's how you voted. How to run one out now? Alex getting some steampunk. Alex answer. No! Oh no, man! Everybody liked steampunk. <laughs> and now for the latest in obsolete technology, it's. Blank O Matic. Blank O I like the location of this daycare center. I just don't like that it is that it's called I have an immediate joke that I don't care for. So I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna ponder for a moment. I know in the new game, uh, in, in Use Your Words 2, if you send an answer you don't like, you can use a power-up to uh, rewrite it, which I think is pretty good. Because I would have hit this and then thought about it. Uh... Uh, this isn't better, but... From the chat, kids touch and feel. I like that one. <laughs> I 
I'm not proud. I, I, there's no pride in this round at all. <laughs> Everyone's saying they're not proud of their answers. No proud to be. No pride to be found. Thirty seconds. And here's what you came up with. I don't like that it's called Toddler Dumpster. Simple, elegant. I don't like that it's called Genital exper Experiments. Ooh. I don't like that it's called Pedophile's Wacky Fun Place for Children's. Children's is very funny. The Death Star. I just don't like that it's called Just Don't Give a Daycare. I just don't like that it's called <laughs> Pedophile. Okay, hopefully you're moving. Okay! laugh the most. That's just what you gotta do. Insert this end first, you doofus. Here we go. Toddler dumpster. Getting some points. Put a file's wacky play for fun. Kermit getting some. <laughs> Just keeping it simple. Yeah, yeah. Extra, extra, read all about it. Comedian wins comedy base game on his the own stream. Round we call survey Ooh, says lightning round. In survey says all point values are doubled. Ooh. You'll be shown three prompts in a row, and since let's play mode is turned on, you'll get 90 seconds apiece to answer each one. Okay. Here's your first prompt. Make an uncomfortable name for a military officer. Uh It's stuck in my brain. <laughs> like, I had a bad idea immediately, and now nothing else will come in. There we go. Skull. So I guess Let's Play mode makes the timers a bit longer, which is nice. It gives me a chance to talk to everybody. Hi, everybody in the chat that's not playing yet. We'll play another game after this, another round. Here's your second prompt. Name something you might do while dancing the hokey pokey. What the eight? You don't know what the hokey pokey is? Put your right hand in, you put your right hand out, you put your right hand in, and you shake it all about. You do the hokey pokey and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. Do they not have the hokey pokey in other countries? Is that a very American song? The hokey pokey? Glad we could do some international game tra uh, testing prompt. for this. Make it a good one. Right, make it a good one. Make up the title of a terrible reality show. This is my wheelhouse. Um, uh,
It's totally a show I'd watch. I'd watch that show every week if it was a terrible reality show. I, not, nothing brings me more joy than a terrible reality show. Brent's music is so good. Pride has no point in this game. Everyone's saying they're not proud of answers. Pride want. doesn't exist here. Survey says, make up an unfortunate name. We got PFC left, 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 right, left. We got Will Surrender. Ooh. Uh, Colonel Sanders. All right. <laughs> Private Bad Touch. Okay, Lord. Simple. Keep it simple. Arnie Paco's lips or a pack of that. Uh, it went too fast. I'm sorry. Answer. Oh, it's here. Arnie Paco lips or apocalypse for short. Okay. I'm glad it showed up here so I could look at it. Uh, oh, man. That's. Oh, when they're really good, I'm like, ah. Not, not the say that you guys aren't funny, but when it's really good, I'm like, that's a house answer. <laughs> okay, let's see what you weirdos wrote. Survey says, something weird to do while doing the hokey pokey. Rub one. Just rub one. Poke your hoe. <laughs> Put things in and out over and over in public. All right. Double fisting. <laughs> Wiggle and or jiggle and or shake it all about. Turning may possibly occur. Learn what it's all about, man. Vote for your favorite answer mm. now. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna be real with you guys. I'm a sucker for punctuation. As soon as I see punctuation, I'm like, yeah, well, well used punctuation. Get my vote. I'm glad I could tell you that at the last round of the game, how to get points from me. Get ready. All right, Here's let's find what out. You came up with. Survey says. Oh yeah, I forgot. So you think you perform open heart surgery? All right, I'd watch it every week. Constipation Diaries, all right. That sounds like a drama. Iron Lungs of San Diego. It sounds like it's warm. <laughs> Naked and Afraid, Boomer <laughs> Edition. Uh, this is the house decor, beware. Ooh, Mind Games. <laughs> Leprosy House. Time to vote for your favorite. I mean, if it wasn't the reality show one, I might vote for this is the house decoy beware. Um, yeah. Oh. Okay. Survey says. a bad touch. Getting points. Very good, very good, Will Surrender. That was a house answer. Oh, bummer! <laughs> Poke your hope. I'm afraid that was a house answer. Ooh. Yep. Punctuation, it gets me. It gets me every time. Oh dear, that was a oh, house answer. Oh, I was so close to picking that one. Alex is funny. 
Leprosy house, raking it in. And the winner is you. Congratulations and thanks for playing. Yes, 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 yes. Next yes, time on yes. Use Your Words, more laughs, more giggles, and more awkward silences. Yeah. Give it up for Bruce G. Host, the host of this. Oh, Daniel played Danny. <laughs> what, what weird credit we're getting here. In mono, where will it? This, this program was pre recorded. It's not true. This is live. Hello. I did it. I did it. Hi, my name is Brent, and I'm making the funniest party game of all time. <laughs> years ago, I founded a game studio with my friend Julian Spillane, and our little dev team released a game called Use Your Words, the party game for funny people and their unfunny friends. It's a couch co-op game where you use your phone as an input device, similar to the Jackbox games, and our number one goal was to create a space for people to gather together and laugh until their beverages spewed out their noses. People love the game, and it's proven to be accessible to players of all ages and skill levels, but a lot of our grand plans and ideas for the first title didn't make it into the final product. Now, five years later, we want to finally make that more ambitious original vision a reality. So we're asking for your support to help us make Use Your Words 2, as in two times the minigames, two times the content, and two times the fun. With improvements in nearly every feature, new power-ups that add depth to the gameplay, a mix and match mode that lets you pick which minigames you want to play, and a giant new batch of prompts for the original minigames our players have come to love. We've also got amazing artist Andrew Kolb on deck to give the game a beautiful vintage look. If we hit our initial funding goal, we'll be able to release the minimum viable product on Steam, which will take our list of four minigames and expand it up to nine. In Book It, we show you a random book cover and you come up with a title. In Film in the Blank, your weird little thoughts become part of vintage educational films. Where do babies come from anyhow? In Letterheads, you get to decide what a set of initials actually stands for. In Sign Me Up, you can vandalize a blank sign with whatever you think it should or shouldn't say. And we've got a new lightning round called Out of the Question, where the stakes get progressively higher as you go along. And there will be three new power-ups, which we call gizmos. Each player can use one gizmo per match to do things like cut another player's points in half for one round, challenge yourself to sniff out the house answer for a huge points bonus, and you know when you finish writing your answer and immediately wish you could go back and rewrite it with something better? Now, with our rewrite gizmo, you can. So that's the minimum viable product. but. The real fun begins when we start hitting our stretch goals, which will allow us to add even more features and release on more platforms at launch. And we've also got some great rewards that let you become part of the game. So please consider helping us make Use Your Words too. Two times the mini games, two times the content, two times the fun. We really hope you'll be part of our journey as we create the funniest party game of all time. Thanks. Thanks.